Welcome back to the Motion Tag Series. In this series of short clips, we will introduce you to all the tags associated with Motion Layout. Today, we're going to talk about transition. All Motion Layout animations are transitions between states, which we model as constraint sets. We use the transition tag to define and customize those transitions. In our example, we have a Motion Layout scene that has a transition between two constraint sets. The transition tag typically defines the start and end constraint sets and is where we control attributes of the transition, like duration. You can have multiple transitions between states. You can see in this example we have three states and transitions between each of them. Gestures are handled automatically. The system will pick the most appropriate transition. So in this example, where there are different forward and back transitions, Motion Layout will pick the correct one. If no transition is specified, the system will use the default transition, shown here. If you want to use this from code, you can use the transition to state method, and the default transition will be used. There are many attributes of transition. We'll look at two in this video, auto transition and motion interpolator. First, we'll talk about auto transition. This is a powerful attribute that allows you to have automatic behavior on reaching a state. One of the most common use cases is when creating animations that trigger when launching a view. To do this, create a constraint set defining where you want objects to appear from, and then add the transition to make it auto transition. And that's it. This animation will start when the view is loaded. Next, we can talk about motion interpolator. Motion Interpolator allows you to control the change in acceleration over the transition. This is often called easing. There are three types of motion interpolation. You can use one of our predefined interpolators, like Ease Out. Uh, reference an animator from your project, or use Cubic Bezier, uh, similar to how you would do on the web. Motion Layout has many tags, and we plan to cover them all in this series. Coming up next, we'll cover on-click. Thanks for watching. See you next time.